Hello everybody, this is JR Tunks21. So I realize you guys are probably used to the webcam by now, but I don't feel like setting that up. I am in the same room as I was the last video I did. I've got the dog down at the foot of the bed right now. She's just relaxing. Uh I haven't been feeling that well the past few days, so I haven't been I'm not gonna be shooting a Fallout 4 video till prick tomorrow night. And I'll put it up on Sunday. It'll be one of the few times I upload on the weekend. Um, sorry, I had like a it, my kitchen is like a freaking mess, and I guess the fan blew something up into my nose, like a little piece of brownie or something. I don't know. But uh, as many of you know, Link Strike the Link Strike Structure Deck or Starter Deck came out today, and uh, it is. The beginning of links for Yu-Gi-Oh. Now I meant to go out and get one. Again, with me being sick and all, I literally just didn't get out of bed until five this afternoon today. So I didn't get it picked up. I hope to get it picked up tomorrow when I go into town to get some stuff. Uh and I'll do a box. I'll do an opening of it. Um I am trying to get a loot crate. Uh, loot Crate to be a sponsor since TCG Player isn't getting back to me. So I'm hoping they do it so I'll have some product to open occasionally. Um, I wanted to get your guys' opinion on links. I'm sure there's a bunch of you guys that don't like it. Some of you guys like it. I like it in the sense that it slows down the meta. But I also hate it because I am primarily a Synchro player. I've been a Synchro player since Synchros came out. I love the deck. I built my Dark Magicians because I don't have to go into multiple extra deck monsters. But when I'm not playing with the Link rules, as me and my buddies have decided we're going to do occasionally where we don't play with Link rules, uh, you know, we won't... Those of us that are playing decks that don't need to... that need to spam more, like Synchros, we're going to do that. But... I wanted to do this video, tell you guys how I feel about links. I don't mind them. I think they're good for the game. I like... I've given every new mechanic a try. And so far, the only one that I've outright hated to, pay, to face was Pendulums. And it's because a buddy of mine named Gabe ran a Pendulum Magician deck and Performer Pals in it. Performer Pal Magician deck, etc. Whatever you want to call it. And his move that pissed me off repeatedly was, okay, I'm going to get my pendulum scale set up. And when I get my outs to the scale and the outs to the board, he'd do Kieran. Magic Specter Kieran. Bounce Kieran back to his hand and bounce whatever card I had was the out. And it really started to piss me off. So that's when I started hating pendulums. So... It is what it is. I, Pendulums are the only deck that I've actually hated. Now granted, I've seen a couple of my buddies play Pendulums pretty well. Uh, a buddy of mine named TK, he, uh, he splashed the Pendulum engine into his uh, old school Jizno uh, Obelisk style deck. And it really helped him get Obelisk out a lot faster than, you know... He could beforehand. So, I I see a point in Pendulums. I just don't like the abuse that it had the ability to do. And I'm sure Lynx will be that way. Synchros got that way for a while. And it started getting balanced out. I find Synchros more balanced than the other mechanics coming from the extra deck. Because it is a... Uh, you know, it takes a lot more to pull off a Synchro Summon, or it used to. It used to be, you know, getting two monsters that equal the level that you need out was really hard. Nowadays, it's fairly easy. I mean, my Synchro deck can spam on a really bad hand. I open with Junk Gardener and TG Hyper Librarian. On a really good hand, I open with Quasar... Which is more often than not, I can open with Quasar and uh, Cipher and Cosmic Blazer. 
but I wanted to get your guys' opinion. I know I'm using a cell phone, and some of you guys don't like that. I have a tip from someone on my social media that wanted me to do a uh, wanted me to do a video on Exodia, the Forbidden One. And being Exodia's on my ban list, I think what I'm going to do is instead of doing Monster Reborn for my next ban list video on Monday, I'm going to do Exodia the Forbidden One. And I'm going to do the, the I'm going to give some trivia where its place in the meta is right now, where it could be going with Lynx coming out and becoming big and everything else. So of course, I'm going to spoil the my opinion on where it is. I think Exodia is just fine in the deck that it's at, in the format that it's in right now. Where it's at limited, I think, is what it's at right now. Is, uh, Exodia's, all of its pieces are limited. I'm fine with that. I don't think it needs to be semi-limited, unlimited, banned. Because the last thing anyone wants is to have Exodia at semi-limited or limited or uh, semi-limited and banned. because Or semi-limited and unlimited. Ugh. Sorry, <laughs> guess I'm still a little sick and probably dehydrated, but that's the last thing we want because once you get to that point where that's the way it is, I'm sure most of you remember the Ram Hunter and Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, back when Yu-Gi-Oh! first hit and you could get Exodia, and back when the internet in its form wasn't what it is today, so 2000s to about 02, 03, I'd say, because I lived out in the country growing up. It was dial-up, so none of us had access to internet that wasn't dial-up. So if you wanted to look up the actual real ban list back then, for me and my friends, it was like a two, three-hour event with dial-up internet. And it's like, no, we're not doing that. We'll make our own. And that's what me and my friends did. We made our own ban list. You know, we allowed people to have... Monster Reborn wasn't banned. Pot of Greed wasn't banned. I think it was limited. The only cards that are on today's ban list that we actually had banned was Chaos Emperor Dragon. And we had that banned for one format, I think, which our format was uh, two to three months. And we banned it for that, and then we put it at limited and said, yeah, it's fine at limited. It was harder to get it out back then. Because your opponent would banish your shit automatically because we didn't have anti-banishing shit. I think what I remember most is uh, my buddy Tyler had it in his, and uh, he ran limited with it and cop limited, and it got we took it off of our band status and put it on limited right as Macrocosmos and stuff came out, and we ended up using Macrocosmos at three, and we'd have five way duels, and all five of us would just <laughs> slam the Macrocosmos down on the ground and say. <laughs> You ain't getting it now, boy. And, uh... The same goes for Exodia. Uh, the only time we hit Exodia was... I believe it was... Oh... Three round summertime for us. And, uh... We banned it for the whole of summer because a buddy of ours... Who moved out of the town... Ran three copies of each piece of Exodia... And marked the cards. And when Tyler found out, he took the deck and threw it in the freaking fire. He threw it in the fire. Granted, this is a small Indiana town, and most parents agreed, you know, if you went crying to your parents because you cheated in a card game, your parents are just going to tell you you're an idiot. There's no reason to cheat. There's nothing on the stakes. So, you know, if you were caught marking your deck or anything, because we didn't use sleeves back then, you got in big trouble. And we, uh, we had that as a policy. We would destroy your stuff. We would take your deck and burn it or shred it if you were caught cheating. And it hurt, because back then Exodia had one print, and, you know, it was expensive back then. So, I mean, that's the only time we hit Exodia. At that point, we banned it until we could figure out how to restrict it. And I think at that point we said semi-limited on it. And we said that was fine. We could just keep it at semi-limited. But I wanted to make this video tell you what Monday's episode is going to be. Tell you why there's no Fallout 4 content. And give my opinion on links. So. If you like the video, leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and share. I have multiple series going on. And some more starting up soon. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe and follow me on Twitter.